Darcy, what do I need to open up a bank account? Hey, ambitious friends. I am so grateful to have you here with me today. And so today I am going to talk about my experience opening up my first business bank account. And so before I even get into all of that, let's do a self check in. How are you doing today? Although we're running our businesses, we do not want our businesses running us. In addition to the self check in, make sure to like, comment and subscribe to this video and start opening up your bank account. Definitely I want to share with you what the process looks like, what banks require from you because I want you to see what information you need to have in regards to your business so that you can successfully open up a business bank account and get your business flourishing and growing. And please let me know what other videos you'd like to see from me. Also, while you're doing that, you can check out the directory. In every video, I'm gonna try my hardest to spotlight a business. And so today, I am gonna spotlight the Milk Mission. And so the Milk Mission is a mobile app that provides maternal wellness and breastfeeding support to new or expecting mothers. So if that's you, definitely check out this app. So getting back to my experience with opening up a business bank account, it is crucial, it is so important, whether you are a sole proprietor or you have your own LLC or a corporation to separate your personal money from your business money. It's important because if the IRS does come after you, you will be in trouble because there's not a clear distinction between you and your business. So having your own business bank account is crucial and important to having your own business. I go into the pros and cons of Novo Bank. I do want to say what's really important is for you to consider when thinking about what bank to go to, what's important to you. So if you open up a business bank account, do you want to have a bank that allows you cash back for making purchases? So if you're constantly buying things within your business, then the cash back is pretty nice. And then also, do you want a bank bonus? Do you want $300, $200, in your bank account for meeting certain qualifications. And so if you do, traditional banks is where it's at. And so you have Chase Business Checking Account and you also have the Bank of America Checking Account, which is what I've been raving about in my business formation videos because it's already integrated with Inc Authority and Inc File that you can get that bank bonus. If interest is important to you, then you should check out Blue Vine and Cabbage because they have a 1% or higher interest rate on the money in your business bank account. So you have to take into consideration what's important to you. Is it cash back? Is it interest? Is it bank account bonuses? Is it integration? And if you figure out what you want with your business bank account, then I'll make it a lot easier when deciding between online banks and traditional banks. And so you do have a lot to choose from. And you don't only have to have one business bank account. So there's a lot of things to consider when opening up your business bank account. And you don't just need just one. You can open up several bank accounts for different parts of your business, whether it's operations, whether it's taxes, whether it's a savings account, whether it's your profits that you have in your business. It's really important to know what is the purpose of the business of bank account and whether you want to have everything in one or you want to have different business bank accounts just to kind of separate the money in your business. And so you really have to consider that when deciding what business bank accounts to go with. So the business bank account that I opened was Novo Bank. So Novo is an online only banking platform that was founded in 2016. And definitely it has a lot of perks. And so that's why I decided to choose Novo over a bunch of other banks. To be honest, I really would have preferred to go with Bluevine because interest is important to me. And so that's why Bluevine was important. But what I didn't really realize at the time is that the integrations that Novo offered with third party would become really handy when expanding and growing my business. So you might be wondering, how am I supposed to fund my business bank account? So you have a couple of options. You can use your personal money. Honestly, it was a great feeling to see my business take money out of my personal account. 
And so you can fund your business with your personal money, with money from friends and family, and also with grants. And so if you don't know if you apply for any grants, I included a playlist above which talks about easy to apply for grants. It shouldn't take too much time. And so then once you have the money taken care of, your business is funded. So with Novo Bank, you do have to deposit $50 into the bank account to really get started and to get access to a lot of benefits that Novo offers. So some great features that Novo offers is no monthly fees, unlimited invoices, which is really key if you hire freelance workers in your business. So they offer unlimited ATM refunds because unfortunately Novo is an online only bank and because of that they don't actually have ATM set up. They also offer the ability to have mobile checks so if you do have hard copy you do have to work on moving it to a electronic check but they do have the electronic check option. They have expense management. They also allow for bank wires. And what I really care about is this integration with business tools. So I can connect it with Google Sheets, QuickBooks, Shopify, Slack, Square Payments, with Zero. And did I mention Shopify? So it is integrated with a lot of business tools that are crucial for your business. And so it's definitely a really nice perk that not a lot of other business bank accounts have. And so with Novo, with all of those benefits, I was definitely like, I need to choose this bank because it just gives me a lot of flexibility. So now that I've shared with you some perks of Novo Bank, I definitely want to talk about some of the cons. So Novo does charge if you have insufficient or uncollected funds. And so they will charge you $27, which is not a fun charge. And so it is important to maintain the balance within your business account. So if you don't, they will charge you for that. And if your business operates a lot in cash, then this business bank account isn't really for you. And you have other great options that you can go with traditional banks to get that bank bonus. And you know that with traditional banks like Bank of America and Chase, they're going to have a lot of different locations for you to go to and easily deposit the cash that you have. Also, which I don't really consider a con, but some people do, is that Novo Bank is really for a business bank account. So you cannot set up a personal bank account and a business bank account with Novo. I personally, I completely wanna separate them. I don't even want them to look at each other because I don't want me to accidentally intermingle or mix them up and accidentally send money to one bank account and not to the other. And so what I personally consider as a pro, but some might consider as a con, is that you can only open up a business bank account with Novo and you can't have a personal bank account with them as well. So I pretty much shared the pros and cons about Novo. Now let's go into what actually is required of you. I don't want you when applying for a business bank account to be like, whoa, I didn't know I needed those documentations. So I'm gonna show you and walk you through what they ask of you in order to apply and qualify for a business bank with Novo and likely a lot of other banks. So first things first, if you have any of these businesses, you're gonna have a tough time opening up a bank account with any bank, but with Novo, they aren't allowing you to open a bank at this time if you have this type of business. So they do want your personal information. You'll also have to include your name, your address, as well as your social security card number. And then you'll also need to show some sort of proof of identification, like your driver's license. So they do want your business information. You need to include your business type. Do you have a sole proprietorship? a single member LLC, a multi-member LLC, a partnership, or a corporation. Also, it's really good to have your business documents on hand, like your articles of organization and your EIN paperwork. Lastly, you will include the articles of organization, which will be given to you by the Secretary of State in your particular state. And they'll include your legal business name, as well as your legal name, and who is the rightful owner of the business. So I pretty much walked you through how to fund your business bank account, what are important qualities that you should look for when choosing a business bank account, and lastly, what's required of you or what paperwork and documentation do you need in order to apply for these business bank accounts. 
So please let me know if you have any other questions and I'd be happy to answer them. Peace, stay building, bye.